What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another experiment on Madden 22 and today we are going to be taking a look at what a potential trade deadline trade including Deshaun Watson may look like. Now of course I have not been really following uh, his legal battle as of uh, late but I can't imagine that considering there hasn't been a huge uh, you know headline that he was like convicted of anything because I feel like this whole well for one I would know because it would be like this just in Deshaun Watson screwed uh but I didn't see anything like that so I imagine that's not still hugely in play but of course it is still something to think about it obviously hurts his value at least in the slightest if we're looking at Deshaun Watson you're thinking if he's you know healthy which he is if he has no legal battles uh you know we're talking maybe five first round picks something ridiculous but Miami is currently 1-6. Obviously, if he were to join in with the Dolphins, which I'm not 100% sure, once again, if he's if he's like not allowed to play or what's the story. I think he is. He's just refusing to, and the Texans are like, whatever. But if he could play right away, he obviously gives Miami a good chance to turn this thing around like almost immediately anyways. So when you're thinking if you're the Texans, yes, it's a division that the Bills probably win. Can Miami still get a wild card spot? Maybe, right? Maybe. Of course, we also have them losing the Falcons here in Sim. I didn't choose that. I just simulated it just to get closer to the deadline because let's be honest, I don't expect this trade if it happens to happen this week. Uh, and of course, I would assume they beat the Falcons, but you never know. It is Miami. Uh, but there's a chance that it's a three-team trade and I am going to make it as such. First things first, though, let's try to get Deshaun Watson. I want to see what it may look like for a trade. And I think, considering all of the... Uh, I feel like it's hard to repair, but anything can happen. But I feel like it's hard for the uh, relationship between Xavier Howard and the Dolphins to be repaired. I know all the trade rumor stuff isn't necessarily them saying it. I also have to make sure that that is their pick. Even though we know that Miami's probably smarter to, to, get, uh, to keep their own pick... Everyone is always like, well, you get rid of your own pick, so then you're not, you know, betting on yourself to lose. Okay, that was San Fran. So, realistically, we trade 14, even though I would probably bet, even going forward, that the Dolphins draft pick would probably be the better one to keep anyways. Of course, I love to see the comments and respond to the comments on videos like these. So definitely let me know what you guys think is going to happen. Maybe somehow, some way, the Sean Watson thing happens before I even get this video up, which would be really shocking because, I mean, unless it happens within the next couple hours, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. But who knows? Uh, and of course, while you're down there, if you're new, maybe subscribe, maybe leave a, leave a like. We do a lot of franchise stuff usually, uh, sometimes experiments like these. But let's see... If we can actually just get this trade straight up, really, we don't feel like the offer brings enough value comparatively what we're giving. Now, if we gave up seven, even though, once again, I think it's very unlikely. I also think Houston's like, yeah, whatever, you know, we'll take the pick. Um, will we get it? No. Now, the strange part about this is, which maybe exposes EA, is that the offer seems better without Xavier Howard, which is pretty laughable right whether you think Xavier Howard's a great corner or not which I think he is kind of having a down year this obviously makes no sense why would the value for the trade go down that makes zero sense at all so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trade these three first rounds and then just give them Xavier for one of them back ah uh, that's great news love it how does EA how does that make sense Okay, fair enough, you can say that the first round pick is more valuable, but why would Xavier and Howard be less value than the two picks themselves? They could just release ha Xavier and Howard, it wouldn't even hurt them. So it wouldn't even be less, it would just be at minimum equal. I'm done trying to figure things out with this company. Get Deshaun Watson for those first, those three first round picks, but I would assume we should be able to get back uh, pick eight, not that it's even pick eight anyways, all that matters is that they're getting a draft pick, even though it probably, once again, would be Miami, uh, not San Fran. So, first things first, we should probably just trade for... Yeah, whatever, we'll do it this way, who cares? You guys don't even need to see this, get out of here. Alright, so I would value Tua uh, as... It's kind of hard to tell, but I would say Tua uh, being a top three pick, injury concerns. Washington's desperate, Washington's two and four... 
if they got average quarterback play, maybe above average quarterback play, they turn it around. It's really hard to tell, but you kind of compare the Josh Rosen situation. He was he was like an early second, right? And obviously Tua is injury prone, but he was taken higher. He was projected higher. I think a mid to mid third is great. Uh, obviously one of them being a year after, but I think that fifth round pick makes a lot of sense. And then Boye was just you know someone from free agency just to make it work on Madden. So. I would say a mid-second this, a mid-third next would be fair, but it's hard to tell where, uh, of course, Washington's going to end. But I think Miami is obviously happy in the end. They lost some draft picks, but overall, they really didn't lose much, right? Like, they still have a first round for next year. They have that Washington third round next year. They have no first this year, but they have Washington second round. So, really, all they are missing is is the third round that they traded themselves, right? Like, they they could turn those two twos into a first. It's just, can you turn around the one and five, maybe one and six season with Deshaun Watson? I don't know. But if you can, you're clutching up. Also, I don't know if they would, but the only reason why Deshaun Watson isn't a superstar is because if it's superstar and he gets freaking uh, convicted, the, the headlines will be, oh, Madden, well, we'll change his number, obviously. Oh, Madden's superstar, uh, Deshaun Watson, you know, is is this and that. And obviously, it doesn't look good on them. But obviously, he should be a superstar in the game. He would have been a superstar in the game had all these things not come out. So we're going to put him at superstar, which is you know, kind of what they're getting. Obviously, it's a huge win. And anyone that asked me if we're going to restart the franchise with Deshaun Watson... Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? That's all I've got, you know? Uh-oh, Houston. You may have a problem here. Uh-oh, 8-8, eight eight, a chance at the playoffs. This would be insane. And they make it. They make it at 9-8, and eight. of course. We want to see what happened to Washington. Did they also make it? Washington would be a winner, too, in this case, if they turned it around, which they did not make the playoffs, and they go 6-11. and 11. So I don't know if Tua got hurt, but... If he didn't, boy, that's a yikes. Honestly, though, if I'm uh, Washington, if I could get Tua for a second and third, I probably would. But overall, looking at is it a great decision to do it, I don't know. I, I think you have to, though, if you're them. But overall, I just I, I don't know. Of course, I don't know why you would think I would cheat. I have no reason to. I really do not care. But obviously, you could see here that I mean, without any changes to the the, the scheme, the, the winnings and all that, the Dolphins did a lot better with uh, with Watson. And obviously, of course, his numbers aren't going to look great for the rankings because he hasn't played that much. But as far as the actual yards and all that goes, 25 touchdowns to five picks, playing 11 games is very good. That is very good, obviously. Rushing is terrible. Everyone's like, what do you have against Miles Gaskin? It's like, he's not good in Madden, okay? I don't care about him in real life, okay? I, there's too many running backs in the league to care about Miles Gaskin, all right? I'm sorry. You know, at the end of the day, he's not special enough for me to be like, oh, wow, Miles Gaskin, can't wait to see him every weekend. It's like, you know, he's not great in Madden. That's all I. That's all I care about. That's all I care about in this situation. I suppose we'll take a look at you know AFC stuff. Did Mister Deshaun Watson number three? I will say though, this whole like Miami Houston trade. Do you really want to trade Deshaun Watson to to the same conference and have to face him every single season for the next like? decade or so potentially but at the same time if you don't make a play and you end up getting forced to release him basically once if he actually just enters your division as a whole <laughs> that would be even worse so i don't know get your value whoever gives you the most is what i would do probably and that's really all you can ask for if you're them i suppose let's take a look at two as well even though obviously it really didn't look great from what we've seen uh, to a 24 touchdowns, 10 picks, 3,400 yards. Not crazy bad, but you definitely want more from him, especially with some of the decent receivers that are around here. So the real winner here is probably Tua, but obviously the other biggest winner is probably Miami. Uh, obviously Miami getting to the postseason hurts the Texans a ton, 
but it is the Browns. Browns probably win this, and they do. So obviously not the greatest pick in the world, but let's take a look at how it turns out. Uh, Miami has a little bit of money, so I do want to make sure that they like sign up everyone they need to because I didn't put on auto signing. Packers versus the Ravens. Let's see what happens here, which is a Packers win. Uh, and can I like resign players at any time? Please, thank you. Maybe 107. I don't feel like Miami will have that much next year. They'll have some money, but I don't know about that much. Gasicki, I don't know how he's playing in real life, but he finished with a great season here. So just like in our Miami franchise, which is here on YouTube, you re-sign him. Will Fuller, I don't think they re-sign him in real life. I don't know. I just feel like they don't. So I'm going to let him go. Ogba, uh, I, I don't know. I don't see him re-signing. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Jason McCord, a lot of these guys are actually low overall. So we're going to let a lot of these guys go. And then I'm just going to put on like auto free agent stuff just to see what Miami's able to do with it. Let's head to the draft and then finish the draft and see what the recap is. Does Houston take a quarterback is the question. Of course, maybe should have went with some sort of real life roster. But obviously, the uh, the downloady thing kind of doesn't work. So I'd have to freaking use one. Actually, I couldn't use any of them. No, the download works. The upload doesn't. But... I'd have to use a download that's like super old and uh, probably not accurate or not as accurate, I suppose. Obviously, you know, people make all their scoutings in the world, but Trubisky wasn't great, right? And everyone clowns the Bears, which I even clown them. But at the end of the day, that's kind of where he was projected, right? And of course, Miami must have made some moves because they lost a lot of money. They lost like 70 mil. Who do they get? God himself? I swear if they went with a QB... Sometimes Rodgers is there. If they went with Rodgers, oh my. Which if, you know, in real life, let's say this whole trade doesn't happen. Rodgers went to Miami as a Packers fan. I would not be mad. At. So they got Jason Kelsey, Melvin Gordon. Fair enough. He's always a great helper to the team uh, or to teams. Chancey uh, or Chauncey Thurston looks really good. Uh, of course, I don't see where they spent their money. Who the hell did they pay? Or maybe they didn't pay anyone. Maybe the, the next year contracts actually came into play. But, oh, uh, what's wrong? Oh, Miami, what do you have against Miles Gaskin? <laughs> That's going to be a meme around here. That's going to be a meme. But let's take a look at the draft recap in general. Let's also take a look at what Houston did. Of course, the draft here doesn't matter as much because, obviously, the only thing that happens is that they lost players rather than gained. Jarrell Coles, I believe, was the uh, the. No, maybe it wasn't. Maybe this was the, the Washington pick. So they made a pretty good trade here. They ended up getting Thurston, who's really solid. I don't know what his dev is, but it really doesn't matter. Once again, this is really about what Houston's going to get, which apparently they get their own pick three overall, and they take a quarterback who is hidden, uh, very rough looking. He looks like a hidden development Cole McDonald, who I actually kind of like in Madden. But let's take a look at what his his actual like rating or his dev is. Obviously, if he's superstar or expert, he's clutch. He's awful. He's really trash. So Houston squandered that one. But with the trade piece that they got, they get a uh, a pass rusher, a really good pass rusher, something that is lacking majorly over there. Probably could have went with offensive lineman as well. But this guy looks like a really good pick. He's hidden development trait. He is star. So as far as their first draft pick from the Deshaun Watson trade goes definitely not bad but we have to see how the other one goes and really that's that's about it that's pretty much what it is so of course as of right now Miami is absolutely winning the whole three-way trade whether two is involved or not that's kind of irrelevant it's really mainly about Watson which obviously he was able to turn a one and six Miami team into a nine and eight playoff team obviously they lost the first game but that's beside the point. You know, you're not really maybe expecting Miami to win a bunch of playoff games, but for them to get to the playoffs from where they are now, I mean, nobody, even if it like derailed the next season, nobody would be clowning them, right? Like, it'd be like, hey, Jesus, you guys pulled it off. Especially with Xavier Howard probably wanting more money, which he's been kind of vocal about for a while now. But I will say, the way he's playing, you know, maybe uh, I feel like his money right now is... I'll, I'll put it this way. I ain't crying for him, you know? Also, another ego-boosting thing is I feel like, depending on what the pick is that they get from Miami, you know, whatever first-round picks, they probably trade those down as well because, obviously, then it looks a little better on top of it. Uh, Miami here, 8-9, and nine, obviously not as great, but it obviously looks better if you turn you know, pick 10 into pick 17 and 32 or something like that because then it's like, oh, well... 
from Deshaun Watson, we got these five players rather than, oh, we got these two players, you know, that were, you know, maybe not that great, which is, I mean, there's a lot to it, right? You want to look good as an organization. You want to get as much value in general anyways. Uh, but let us take a look at how the rest of the teams look. So obviously we have the Texans and Washington. Washington gets to the playoffs at nine and eight. Not, you know, super surprised. We see them usually turning around a little bit in rebuilds. And then Houston still around seven and ten. We also should have probably paid attention a little bit to the Niners, but I suppose we kind of had to wait till this season. So let's see where the Niners rank, and uh, they actually made the playoffs. So it would be better for them to get that pick off of Miami. So I mean, in real life, it's hard to tell, right? Like I don't know what you do, but here it would have been slightly better to go for uh, Miami's pick, which is obviously what we gave them. So fair enough, we gave them the maximum value out of that situation this is what it looks like for us and uh, obviously the other ones don't really matter too much houston was uh you know just trash all the way through and and washington's got a chance let's take a look at the stats and awards i'll see if you know watson was a part of the problem and i mean he didn't necessarily help the team obviously scheme plays a factor but what do i do you know i can't just put on the chiefs put on the packers the buccaneers all those are kind of like boosting ones uh, melvin gordon goes off obviously so the ground game does do pretty well here uh, Gasicki, where's Waddle? You know, like where? Why isn't he going higher? Devontae Parker being here another year is probably unlikely. I'd probably say Fuller has a better chance. Probably um, Baker. Let's take a look at the sacks. So, I mean, that's pretty much the the season. I suppose we'll take a look at the quarterback for Houston as well. See if them going with a quarterback at pick three was a smart decision or not. And uh, I mean, it looks all right. Nothing special. Let's actually take a look at how Xavier Howard played this season and the season after, or before anyways. Six picks, so of course the ball ha hawking nature is still there. Uh, before, only one pick though, which is really bad. Six picks on this year. Obviously kind of gets back into it. Uh, let's take a look at now Washington's performance at quarterback. It's two of the biggest shock of this entire trade situation. Is he the biggest shock? And that, I mean, that's pretty damn good. I can't lie. I cannot lie. That is pretty solid from Tua Tagovailoa. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, what, what's going to happen here? Is Washington going to make the Super Bowl? If they make the Super Bowl, that'd be shocking. Because this one kind of started out, okay, what's, what's Miami? What's Houston doing? But now it's about what is Washington doing? Obviously, they're not here, which didn't really necessarily expect, but... Uh, of course, the Chiefs win. Let's take a look at two final things, which is, of course, how did Washington finish? Did they actually win a game or not? And then, of course, what that other draft pick from Houston looks like. So Washington did go on. Washington lost in the divisional against Green Bay, and then Green Bay lost. So they got a win. They got a playoff win, which, I mean, they have done in the past. So did Tua really bring that much to him? I don't know, but... He was worth the trade. He was definitely worth the trade. He was worth the trade for Miami. So that was a win-win both sides. Houston, the verdict's still in. Uh, for Miami, they got the playoffs last year. Didn't this year. And Watson, you know, Watson's not looking super great. Could be scheme dependent. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's kind of just a fair trade across the board. But let's see if Houston can turn that extra draft pick, the extra extra draft pick, into something crazy obviously this is uh, a bit better of a pick than the other one i'd say the other one would have been like 24 25 this one should be somewhere around like 15 to 18 or something like that so we'll obviously see what they do and obviously we got to say you know see which one is which but i would say houston's gonna be lower right i'm trying to think of like what can houston really turn this pick into to make it worth Deshaun Watson. Obviously, Howard played pretty well this season. They got a pretty good pass rusher last year. Maybe a dominant DT or something like that. Because, I mean, realistically, a wide receiver, unless they're, like, god-tier, you know, it's 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 kind of hard. But, of course, Miami ends up with a really good safety. That's kind of irrelevant, though. And then Houston, with pick 12, gets a cornerback. Is he hidden, though? He is normal, so... I mean, I kind of have to say Houston makes out the worst by quite a bit because of that cornerback. If they got a hit in there or something, maybe uh, Miami does all right. But I got to say that Washington probably wins, right? They get to the postseason. Not that, you know, that defense can't really carry the hell out of you. But to a hell of his own, that offense looked really, really tough to stop. And 
And Antonio Gibson actually kind of looked like he was holding the offense down. You know what? Under four yards per carry on quite a bit of carries because obviously he had almost a thousand yards anyways with that bad uh, yards per carry average. So I'd say Washington wins the most. Chua wins the most. Watson gets out of there, lives in a cool location, but really isn't playing well. Houston just loses in general, I feel like, even in real life before the trade, unless they get some insane trade package for him, which seems like every day that he's not traded, the value goes down. Uh, But overall, that's what happens. Not pretty. Honestly, not really that pretty at all, but what can you say? I mean, it's not a pretty situation. That's kind of the reason why it's it's kind of being forced here is Houston doesn't want to get rid of them, but they're kind of almost in that situation. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this one, leave me uh, you know, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like maybe. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, appreciate the continued support. Should be another video uh, later today. And, uh, you know, twitch.tv slash you care for streams. You know, who knows? Maybe tonight. I don't know. I, I, I don't know when I'm uploading this. Am I going to upload this on Friday or Saturday? I did say like it would be shocking if he got traded before this was uploaded a couple hours from now, but I might hold it till Saturday. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. Uh, but the main thing you can let me know is, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's actually going to go? I feel like Washington needs a quarterback, but is Tua really the guy you want to risk it on? It's kind of like a Carson Wentz kind of risk situation with the injuries and whatnot, and and Tua still has some time to, you know, some ways to go. Uh, with Brandon Sheriff being injured, that offensive line really isn't crazy much better than Miami. I know Miami's offensive line sucks, but it's not crazy much better with him out. So I don't know. And it's it's a it's a tough one. I feel like whoever gains Watson has the most to gain, and everyone else is just risking, right? So I, I don't know. It's it's tough, and then you have the legality stuff. So. This is what happens. Like I said, I think Tua, I think Washington won the most. Watson wins the most, I guess, because he gets to go to a cool location. Houston loses. Miami apparently loses because they didn't really play that well here. But obviously, there's a lot of time left to go. And that's that's really it. It was just a weird one. It was a weird one where the unexpected winner is really Washington and Tua, which is, I mean, fair enough. That's about it, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video... See?